now we are going to discuss some important properties of the probability some important some important properties the first property so before that let me start with uh, let uh, omega e capital e of p be a probability space the first property is uh, p of uh, empty set is zero in the probability space definition we have uh, p of uh, omega is equal to 1 so one can prove p of uh, empty set is uh, zero because uh, empty set is the negation of the whole set the whole set probability is 1 therefore uh, this probability is going to be 0 second property if uh, two events a and b belonging to f and both are uh, mutually disjoint events intersection of uh, events is empty then if you want to find out the p of a union b that is same as uh, p of a plus p of b if two events are uh, mutually exclusive mutually disjoint events then the p of a union b that is same as p of a plus p of b otherwise uh, in general for any two events uh, that is p of a union b is p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b since p a intersection b is empty set and the p of empty set is zero therefore p of a union b is the same as p of a plus p of b third result for any event a belonging to f p of a complement that is same as 1 minus p of a if you know the probability of uh, a if you want to find out the probability of a complement that is same as 1 minus p of a the same concept is used to find out the probability of empty set is 0 also the fourth result for any two events a comma b belonging to f you can always have a p of a union b that is same as a p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b as in the result uh, 2 when a intersection b is empty set then it is going to be just p of a plus p of b there is no minus p of a intersection b the next result result number 5 if a comma b belonging to the f and a contained in b then one can conclude p of a always less than or equal to p of b not only that p of b slash a that is same as p of uh, b minus p of a in particular p of a is always uh, less than or equal to 1 for all a belonging to f the next result let a suffix n be a increasing uh, sequence of events or elements in f the element in the f is nothing but the events so let a and b a increasing sequence of uh, elements in uh, f that is if you take a n belonging to f and a n is contained in a n plus 1 
for all n 1 2 3 and so on that's the meaning of a n b n increasing sequence of elements in f then what the result says the p of limit n tends to infinity a n that is same as the limit n tends to infinity p of a n where the limit n tends to infinity a n is nothing but since a n are the increasing sequence of uh, elements limit n tends to infinity a n is nothing but union of uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity a n. Similarly, one can go for sequence of uh, elements which are uh, decreasing. So, the next result uh, or next property that is uh, let a n b n decreasing be a decreasing sequence of uh, elements in f that is a n belonging to f and it satisfies for all n is equal to 1, 2 and so on. In this case, p of limit n tends to infinity a n that is same as again limit n tends to infinity of p of a n where the limit n tends to infinity a n is nothing but intersection of n is equal to 1 to infinity of a n's because the a n's are the decreasing sequence of elements in f. I am not giving the proof of this uh, results, but it can be proved uh, easily. Now, we are moving into the next concept or next definition that is called a classical definition of probability. A probability space that is omega capital F capital P with the finite omega comma the f is equal to power set of uh, omega the p of omega means the power set of omega and the probability measure of uh, singleton element w that is equal to 1 divided by the number of elements in the omega for all w belonging to omega that is called a, a classical probability a classical probability space because we are defining a probability space a probability space omega f p with the conditions on uh, omega f as well as p. It is basically a special case of uh, probability space by satisfying omega is finite and f is the largest sigma field which is the power set of omega and the probability measure p is defined on uh, each possible outcome as a 1 divided by total number of elements in the omega which is finite for all w belonging to omega. If these three conditions are satisfied by a probability space, then that probability space is called a classical probability space. There is another name for this that is called a Laplace probability space. In this situation, the probability p is called a classical probability. The probability measure p which is defined in this probability space with omega is finite and f is the power set of 
omega and P on each possible outcome is equal likely that is 1 divided by number of elements in the omega then this probability measure is called a classical probability measure and the probability space is called a classical probability space. So, the classical probability space is the special case of the probability space which we have defined it earlier that is called axiomatic definition of probability. The special case is the classical probability space. Since P on each possible outcome is going to be 1 divided by total number of elements in the omega. So, the probability of any event is nothing but number of favorable cases on event A divided by the total possible outcomes that is whatever the finite number. Suppose, A is contained in omega where A is a event then P of A is nothing but uh, P of uh, union of uh, singleton elements uh, samples where all the samples belonging to capital A the event that is nothing but summation of W belonging to A 1 divided by that is same as cardinality of A divided by cardinality of omega. In other words, P of A is nothing but a number of favorable cases to the event A divided by number of possible cases. So, this is what we have done it in the school days uh, when you are computing the probability of event that is nothing but the number of favorable cases to the event A divided by the total number of uh, all possible outcomes. So, this is going to be the classical probability with the assumption that uh, omega is finite and the sigma field is the largest to sigma field which is nothing but the power set and uh, equiprobable outcomes. That means, uh, P of uh, each possible uh, outcome that is same as uh, 1 divided by cardinality of omega. So, this is called the classical probability space.